Hi, it's Connor Svensson here, founder and CEO of Web3 Labs, and this is your week in DeFi on Monday the 22nd of November 2021. Key events this week include Square's Bitcoin DEX, Alex building out DeFi and Bitcoin, Valkyrie's new $100 million fund, Maple Finance and Almedia Research create DeFi's first syndicated loan, and Akala wins the first Polkadot parachain auction. The assets locked in DeFi finished the week down just shy of 3% at $204 billion. We've spoken previously about how Square is doing a lot you know, with Bitcoin and also Twitter as well. They've recently put together a new crypto team. Um, however, Square this week released a white paper uh, announcing a decentralized protocol for exchanging digital and other ass assets known as TB Dex. And really what they're, they're looking at here is building out a decentralized exchange that uh, runs on top of the Bitcoin network. But a key part of this is that they want to make a lot of use of decentralized identity and verifiable credentials in this as well. This wasn't completely out of the blue with uh, Jack Dorsey saying that he'd wanted to create some platform uh, a couple of months back. Uh, however, this this TBD div division within Square, uh, they're, they're going to actually be building out the exchange. W what I personally find very fascinating here is that, uh, you know, they're not just talking about having a decentralized exchange, but they're being really big on the decentralized identity components. This is a, an area that is, you know, there's a lot of interest in, in, in that people can potentially have identities that are have these these things that are called verified credentials that reside on a blockchain but the only the person who owns that credential they can choose who they share it with in order to prove who they are and so the you know the the fact that they're really integrating this in at the heart of the white paper and the whole protocol design is is a big innovation and it, I, I think certainly it's, it makes it stand out quite a lot from some of the others that are out there that typically tend to think in terms of you know an identity is a wallet that lives on a blockchain whereas here they're by targeting decentralized identities it's something that could really fit nicely into the enterprise as well as uh, you know kyc individual type narratives as well so it's quite a bold move but also a very sensible one for them to to make you know no doubt that the coming weeks and months will be you know there'll, there'll be a lot a lot more that's happening in the space on this especially given that square's not exactly short of money to uh you know move, move forward with this initiative if i protocol company called alex has closed an, a, a 5.8 million dollar round to build out DeFi technology on Bitcoin. So Alex is actually short for Automated Liquidity Exchange. And what they want to do is grow their team and actually create what is you know, leading DeFi technology that uh, runs on top of the Bitcoin, that uses the Bitcoin network behind the scenes. Uh, we've spoken previously about something called Stacks, which was a layer 1.5, so to speak, uh, in, for, for the Bitcoin network. So kind of you know, like a scaling solution for Ethereum, but for the Bitcoin network. Uh, but Alex is going to be working with Stacks uh, blockchain that runs on top of the Bitcoin to ha help build out this technology. Valkyrie Investments this week have announced a $100 million DeFi fund. Uh, the idea here is that they're going to be investing in a number of different projects across a number of different blockchains. So they're looking at Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, Matic and Phantom. And so the you know really the main takeaway there is that uh, when you, when you look at the protocols that they're focusing on, it certainly speaks to where the perceived majority of the action in the DeFi space is right now. But there's you know, we all know there's a lot of money floating around here, right? From the perspective of you know, be it investment funds or also ecosystem funds for actually building up technologies uh, for these different platforms. Portal, which is a self-hosted wallet and a layer two decentralized exchange uh, built on top of Bitcoin. They've announced a strategic partnership with Polygon. And so the idea here is that they're, they're looking at ways to do atomic swaps with Bitcoin and other assets. Initially, apparently, it's going to facilitate wrapped Bitcoin and Bitcoin. Uh, to actually you know, tr transfer assets. So the wrapped Bitcoin is basically a version of Bitcoin that lives on top of Ethereum. And by partnering up with Polygon, it starts to open up uh, you know, the opportunities for having a lot more liquidity between DeFi happening on top of Bitcoin versus Ethereum. So it's it's a smart move in, in both respects, even though the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem is kind of playing catch up compared with Ethereum. Maple Finance and Almedia Research have launched a on-chain syndicated loan vehicle. So this is uh, something that was built by Maple Finance and uh, they're actually going to be using lending by Almedia Research, which is uh, Sam Bagman-Fried's uh, company. 
Um, so the intent though is that they're going to lend crypto from a single borrower lending pool to non-US institutions around the world. Right now, Media Research is the sole borrower, uh, but I think you know what, what they're trying to do here anyway is just uh, you know test out the technology and start to build more momentum around it. So Maple Finance, they have their own uncollateralized lending marketplace, and uh, it's something that they've been working on for a little while here. Also this week we have uh, Akala, which was the DeFi protocol that runs on top of the Polkadot network. They've won the first Polkadot parachain auction. So they raised 32.5 million DOT, which is almost $1.3 billion. And this was via a crowd loan, uh, which we spoke about last week. So by winning this parachain auction, what it basically means is that the Akala network are able to contribute to blocks on the, the, the main Polkadot network. And so this, this is one of the innovations that Polkadot's had there is that they want to have this bidding process so that different projects can bid in order to have the rights to actually uh, contribute to blocks and uh, you know, this, uh, the overall state of the, the, the main relay chain as it's being called for the Polkadot network. The second parachain auction is, is ongoing and uh, apparently this lease is for two years. Uh, it's, it's said that it's likely to be Moonbeam, which is an Ethereum compatible uh, network that uh, runs on top of uh, Polkadot there. And Moonbeam, they've raised uh, so far about $1.35 billion. That's all we have for uh, this week in uh, DeFi update. If you're interested in key events across enterprise blockchain and protocols, crypto or uh, NFTs, do check out our other week in blockchain episodes. And if you want to learn more about the people behind the scenes driving a lot of this technology, do have a listen to our Blockchain Innovators podcast, where I speak to individuals who've made significant contributions to the blockchain ecosystem, find out what inspires these people, get their thoughts on the latest industry news and events spanning crypto, enterprise protocols, DeFi, NFTs and DAOs. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.